She may not be the first girl asked to dance, but she's got some moves, let me tell you. Meet C. elegans. She's the it girl, the very first animal of any species to have her genome completely sequenced. And though you may regard her as just a lowly worm, fact is, she's got many of the same genes you do. Not only that, but C. elegans is known around the world, to scientists anyway, as the go-to girl. She's the top model when it comes to trying to get a handle on life's fundamental processes. So what? She doesn't have a brain. Since when did that stop any supermodel? What she does have is 302 nerve cells. That's about 99.999 billion fewer than you, pal. But she manages to do all the same stuff you do. She finds food. She remembers where she is. She can party with other worms. Which brings us back to the dance floor. Or, in this case, the dance liquid. Which, as we see, is water and three different viscosities of gelatin. Turns out, C. elegans has managed to fool just about every one of those lab-coated conference-going PhDs. They've been watching her wiggle her one-millimeter-long bootay for decades, and they've been scratching their collective heads about how so simple an organism could know how to both crawl and swim and every other kind of locomotion in between. But now, a new study at the University of Leeds has revealed that all her reeling and writhing are actually all the very same behavior. Like I said, girls got moves. Or, more precisely, one move. Now that they know her secret, researchers want to watch her work it in a wide range of environments and situations, because that may show them very specifically which gene does exactly what. It could just be that this brainless beauty will become Earth's very first organism to be completely understood and thoroughly modeled. A supermodel, indeed. Sitting this one out for Live Science, I'm Dave Brody.